There's a place where you can find diners, fine dining, and everything in between. Join us on Discover Wisconsin as we explore breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Sheboygan County. All right, this is Judy's Place. I'm ready for some breakfast. This place is known for its home cooking and its fun community atmosphere. I'm starving, so let's eat. But first, we wait in line, because it's a really busy place. Very popular. What is it like to own Judy's Place and have people talk so highly about it? It's kind of a privilege to be here. Seriously, the first Judy's Place, we were off the highway and we decided we were gonna to come to this little town and start over. It was a great community and we just took a chance and said, let's go here. And it just went from one thing to the other and it's just been a great, great ride. What I love about this place is you have odes to Usper, little knickknacks, the Dutchman shoes. How did you decide on the vibe and aura of this? So when we came in, we just wanted to bring it up a notch or two. And these things are all local. We've got stuff that came from the farmers locally. Families would bring us the wooden shoes handed down in their family. They wanted them displayed, and that's what we did. What are the favorites here at Judy's Place? Favorite things here are our skillets. That's a really big seller. Our pancakes. We do a pancake of the month. We do have fresh apple pancakes, German potato pancakes. We try to accommodate all those different needs, whether it's gluten-free or dairy-free. We try to please all different palates, from the little kids to the older people. Now to lunch, where made from scratch is the top order. We are here in Elkhart Lake at Lake Street Cafe. This place is so cool. It has a fun, eclectic, retro vibe, and they make all their food from scratch. So let's go check it out. But take me back to the beginning and why you wanted to open up this cafe. We saw all the people from Elkhart Lake going to Sheboygan to eat, and we realized there weren't a lot of restaurants at the time that were open in winter. Everyone was open in summer during the busy race season, tourist season. You bought this building and you found that huge sign yes. right in the basement. Yep, thought it was a stack of plywood and I flipped a piece over and it was that sign. We kind of built the rest around it. We kind of grow with the seasons and with what customers are looking for. Nothing makes us happier than to see a family where the parents are having a nice dinner, great bottle of wine, and the kids have their burger, their grilled cheese sandwich, and everyone's happy. I love that you make everything from scratch. Why was that important for you? There was nothing in this area that did fresh. We just decided we're going fresh. All of our sauces and stocks from scratch. People know you're putting a lot of heart into the food mm -hmm. and everything that they're eating. They can tell. Our tuna appetizer is by far one of our most popular. We have more entree sized salads, wood-fired pizzas. It just depends on the day and what your mood is. Our chef Rahina is amazing. She does an incredible job coming up with fresh new ideas. It's nice to have a new look at what we're doing. Does it get crazy back in the kitchen? Oh yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. You see a lot of food coming in now. There's a lot to prep. Sometimes it's like, how are we gonna do it? It's amazing, we just do it. Is there another part to this? Is there another space? Yes, on the other side of the building. I can show it to you if you'd like. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, wow. So this is the more formal dining room. This is a completely different space than that side. I like the differences. So maybe you have your beer crowd over there, and then this is a nice date night with some wine. It's always interesting, because you think after 22 years, everyone's been here. It's fun to have someone say, oh my gosh, this was my first time here, and I loved the food and the atmosphere, and the staff did a great job. And we base our experience in general as the minute someone walks in the door until the minute they leave, that we need to take care of them. We are here at the Blind Horse Restaurant and Winery in Kohler. This place seems right up my alley. The property is stunning. They have amazing wine and food, and they have live music. What more could you want? Let's go check it out. How did this place come to be? Well, the Moeller family had the idea for a winery, and somebody pitched them to do a restaurant as well. So I think they wanted to do a little, you know, a boutique winery, and this has turned into quite the monster now. My wife grew up about 10 minutes from here. We would talk about it every time we came. They said, you know, we really need to do a winery here. And we happened to run into the Moeller family. My wife walked right up to them and said, you need a winemaker. <laughs> we moved out here and helped them start this whole operation. We 
really wanted to make drier wines. Well, that's not what people were really drinking when we started this. People were drinking very sweet wines. The grapes that grow in Wisconsin are very acidic, and you need to add a lot of sweetness to that to be able to drink it. Every other winery told us we'd be out of business in five years or making all sweet wines uh, in five years. And the reality is eight of our top 10 selling wines are dry wines. I don't think anybody thought that would happen. Well, you're speaking my language because <laughs> I love a dry red wine. That's all I drink. So it's perfect that I'm here. There's nothing like this, not only in Wisconsin. It's very rare do you see anything like this in the whole country. The laws are such that it's very difficult to have a restaurant and a winery in the same property. So this is a very unique experience for Sheboygan County and for Wisconsin. You can come and do live music on the patio. We have a separate menu and kitchen over there with you know more casual food. Our sit-down restaurant, of course, a whiskey bourbon bar we call the Granary. We've tried to make this a very casual place where you can come any night, have fun, hang out, have some wine, get any kind of cuisine you really like. All right, I am so hungry and so excited. We have to start with wine. It's Absolutely. So I'm going to recommend our Silver Saddle. It's a fuller-bodied wine, Cabernet-based, Malbec and Petit Bordeaux in it. That's what I drink at home, so that's what I would recommend tonight. Nice yes. meeting you. Cheers. Oh, that is good. You can't find this blend. You know, it's, it's a, very unique to the blind horse, so we're, we're very proud of this. This experience has been incredible. I mean, the place is stunning, the food is so good, the wine is delicious. So thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you for coming out and taking the time to visit us. Cheers to the blind horse. Cheers to the blind horse. I'll be back. I can't believe the culinary scene that is happening here in Sheboygan County. This is one dining experience you'll definitely want to take a bite of.